Greetings to all that is, has been, and always will be. Welcome to your Chiron and Gemini. The wounds of words. My Chirons and Gemini have come to be wounded in feeling that you lack comprehension or lack um, intelligence. As you were growing up, there's levels of words that were exchanged to you that hurt you deeply. So we will dive deeper into this. I'm gonna start with my Wild Unknown Animal Oracle deck, look at some astrological influences and some past lives. This may be a little lengthy. Well, I know it'll be lengthy. And um, also, it may not resonate with you because it may not be all of your story, but there will be areas that will resonate even though your story may be different. So use this as a guide. Um, also, I'm going to come up with a collective Chiron healing light where I can bring different things to the table that can assist within the healing of the wounds. Also, all the jazz. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share. Hit the bell notification. I also will leave my email in the description box um, for those that are true and sincere to receive a Chiron spiritual consultation or just a spiritual consultation in itself. Um, also, I would like to apologize for any pauses that may take place. I call upon my spirit team and my higher self. I also call upon those of the collective in Chiron and Gemini for their higher self and their spirit team to also sit and be within them to bring forth the identity of the wounds or the emotional mental triggers that they may experience as we go into the abyss. May the inspiration of the Supreme Creative Source guide this experience as we go inward. May protection be around our minds, our bodies, our souls, and our spirits. Ashe. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Wild Unknown. This can either be supporting you, or this may be energy that you're in. One more spirit says. Supreme Creative Source, Chiron and Gemini. What is the wild unknown animal spirit? And can we keep it simple? Oh, it had to go to the flow. It went too far. I apologize. I was not trying to pause that soon, family. But it went too far. I couldn't even see it. But we have the bear. The bear right here. This is your ancestors. Blood or no blood. And this is coming from things truly of the past. Let me say it like this. The way that your mother and father, whoever you were in the household with, the way that they spoke to you or dealt with you was how they were dealt with. And that this is not um, any of your fault, their fault, or down the line, line of lineage. And also the bear is saying that you presently and of your past, there was a lot of mental illness or depression somewhere and also possible, possibly some um, substance abuse as well. At the bottom of the deck, cosmic egg. That's strong. So you definitely have your ancestors and the 
um, the supreme creative source or big mama, the omniverse. But this is saying, take hold of shield and buckler in the power of your might. So take control over yourself. Stop worrying about what other people have to say or how they're affecting the things that you have to say. Stop feeling as though that you're not um, adequate enough within your um, way of thinking or even commun ma mainly communications. This is my black moon. Neptune, sacrifice. Yeah, what are you willing to sacrifice? Supreme creative source, astrological, or Chiron and Gemini. Take hold of shield and buckler and the power of your might. Things are also difficult for you to, to um, speak your truth. Okay, that's a lot of cards. Moon, Soul, Jupiter, Sagittarius, Fire, Element. I at least would like to. Um, and this is your power. Your power is your healing purpose. And you're finding it difficult for you to stand and speak within your truths. Because you're afraid of how someone is going to respond to you. Thank you. Okay, we have first out North Node, life's purpose. Okay, so some of you may have your North Node along with your Chiron, um, with your, your life purpose. So you have a strong um, communication within your life purpose um, because Chiron, the... the um, Chiron is what, why you came here to heal the people with. You came here to heal the people through your words, through your loving, kinding words, um, and also through not being biased or judgmental. So with you being wounded, I apologize. With you being wounded, um, has really, uh, in such a way, and not being able to express part of your healing power, it's keeping you stuck with a social low self-esteem or just a general low self-esteem that um, is towards your life's purpose. This is also something in regards to um, school or career. So we have Grand Cross Provoker 47. I'm not sure what a Grand Cross is. But um, just with the the provoker alone, just um, makes me feel as though that you kept being provoked with words, like people just kept, um, you know, like it's like. You tell them, like, stop, you know, don't do that. I don't like that. I'm not interested, you know, whatever. And um, they're still coming at you with these words. And it causes you, because I'm seeing a lot of fire as well, it causes you then to become very angry and very frustrated to where then you're finding yourself um, being that same person, meaning just ugly, and not pleasant. So not healing. So um, with your words, with your words, um, 
you're coming and your words now because your healing power of your words is to heal the people. So now you're coming in with the words and you're like, Phew! you're taking little darts or, or arrows and you're hitting them with it and you're creating wounds inside of someone else because that's the power of your tongue. The power of your tongue, your healing power of your tongue, your hekka, is through words. So if you find yourself in a situation where you feel like you're being provoked, do your best to walk away or find something else to do. Find some type of sacred place. Capricorn, I use. So now let's look at, okay, Capricorn. That's the 10th house. So some of my um, Chirons in Gemini with the Capricorn, there's some type of business. There's something that you're supposed to build within the business um, avenue. But you find yourself with lacking the willpower to speak what you want to use to communicate to bring forward the business because the business also is reflecting of the North Node, your life's purpose. Um, I'm also seeing um, first house. We have one here. So some of you are really struggling because you're being misunderstood. Somewhere your intentions, your t intentions are being misinterpreted. I think I said that right are being misinterpreted. So if they're being misinterpreted, they're not being heard. And so you're because you're not being heard, it's um it's like a childhood wound that is is coming back to surface. It's coming back to surface. Some of you may have had um a speech impediment or something growing up or maybe even had um, some type of social anxiety or you just didn't want to be in these certain places because you were afraid to communicate outwardly because of you're not knowing how someone was going to respond or speak to you because of what you've already experienced within the within the household. Hmm. Some of you also are um, feel as though that you lack a level of education. And because you feel like you're lacking um, education, it's provoked um, it's provoking you. It's like a, a just like a child just coming keep coming to keep up. It's like a constant um, reminder to you. This is my past lives to see what wants to come out. Anything else? Supreme Creative Source. Last time. Let's draw from the top. At the bottom of the deck, we have phobias. A lot of strong fear in avoiding people. That's that so I think I said earlier about the social um the social anxiety um that you experience um whether it's in school, whether it's in college, whether it's just going outside period um so some of you may have become an extro introvert that is is not a good place for you because this is where um, with the bear of the ancestors are are saying where this depression and mental illness, you know, actually um, starts to come in more strongly. First out, we have biblical. So with this biblical coming out, it is definitely, you know, some of you, especially in the ninth house, biblical, because the ninth house is about, you know, expansion, you know, travel, you know, things that are actual physical things. So it's like you were kind of traumatized as a child when um, 
being forced to fit in someone else's norm or being forced to fit in someone else's culture or religion and it caused you to kind of like hold up this isn't where i want to be i'm not comfortable but because you couldn't speak your words they made you through there were oh no you got to do x y and z then we have trust and faith this right here this trust and faith is you know really kind of Trusting in the omniverse, like we had the cosmic egg, you know, that these wounds are healable, you know, um, you just really need to work with some positive affirmations or maybe even finding, finding an alternative to communicate, whether it's through music, dance, plants, animals, um, extraterrestrials, um, you you know that type uh type of a book find an alternative trust in some of you that have this alternative inside of you you're questioning it you're doubting it so know that it is what it is and trust in it and allow the process of what big mama or the omniverse is truly bringing to you um and also your spirit team and your spirit guides also may be um, provoking you as well because I'm going to say provoking you as well because they can be putting you up to different tasks to see whether or not you're going to complete the task or if you're just going to sit back and just stay isolated. This is my um, angels amongst us. Capricorn, Capricorn, 10th house energy, 47 equals 11. So some of you are at work and you're taking on more than your uh, job description. And I'm also even hearing outside of the work. One moment. Oh, I forgot to turn my air off. Whew, I apologize, but um, that was a long one for me. But what I just experienced is, is something that is for my Chirons and Gemini. My son was um, lost in New York. Don't know anything really about New York other than going there for his earth born recently on the 7th of August and someone did him dirty and bought him a ticket so that he can come home to North Carolina and they refunded whatever the ticket and he was forced off the train. So how does this apply to my Chiron and Gemini's? Take hold of shield and buckler Know that you are protected, no matter where you sojourn within your life. But stand in your power, the power of your might. That means continue to keep going at it. He tried so many times to get someone to let him use his, their communication device, but it caused some type of riffraff where he, did, he was not successful. It caused him to doubt. It caused him to feel weary within him, within himself. It even made him feel moments like, Dag, why can't I figure this out? He even went to a payphone, called. I could hear his voice, but he couldn't hear me. And I couldn't ask him his location. Where was he at? So my Chiron's in Gemini. He finally said, you know what? I'm going to ask this person. They couldn't even speak the language that he speaks of English. And he doesn't know how to speak Spanish, but he took a chance and he used the gestures. This is the alternative communication to get his point across that he needed to make a phone call. And the only number he knew was me, his mother. Now, this applies strongly to my Chirons and Gemini. 
continue. Don't be afraid. Don't give up. Keep pressing through it. Find different creative ways. Find different thoughts, things, being that you're being that the energy of Gemini is so keen to details and also having the ability to analyze any complex situation. But because these wounds stand within your Gemini, it keeps you from being able to be psychoanalytic, to come up with the solutions or of the issue, or even pay attention to the details that are inside of you or outside of you. And that is all. So let's see what the angels amongst us want to share. They're healable. You can conquer it. You're not stupid. You're not dumb. You're not mentally deranged. You're actually through all of this and your healing. You're a great teacher. You will stand amongst the students and one day speak your truths and no fear will be there. Archangel Ragel, relationship healing, calm harmony. Hmm. Relationship healing. So um, we did have the 47, which the seven is present. So those that have been rejected within relationships, allow that healing process. Stop going to the next one as a rebound to um, suffocate those feelings of loss or emotional um, emotional loss of love um, to heal. Allow yourself the time to heal from the past relationship. So that way when you go into the next relationship, you will not bring that same um, baggage forward. Balance, harmony, find your niche, find your creative niche. Archangel Salafon, Sandalfon, music, earth star, Answered prayers. Well, I tell you, my prayers got answered today. Blue. It's a lot of blue here. A lot of home. A lot of fourth house energy as well. Through your music or your poetry, or through your voice to communicate brings people answers. It gives them the clue of what is going on within their self. It also allows them to heal through hearing your words. Whether your words, like I said, are on paper, through music, song, but you are an earth angel to those that you have come to heal. Guru Ramdas, humility, spiritual practice, elevation. Raise and connect to your solar plexus. Find some type of spiritual practice that can help you within your healing, healing um, process so that you can elevate to the next level and you can vibrate into your purpose and stand within your truths and not be afraid to speak them.
need three more swords. Says over here. Okay, first out we have the chariot, the ace of cups, the nine of cups, the seven of pentacles, the seven of wands, and the five of pentacles. Spirit says, put the five of pentacles between the sevens. Let's see. Take control over your emotions. Take control over your desired outcomes. Stop feeling like you're left all alone when you're truly not. There are many things in the world that is going to bring forth many different obstacles and challenges that you are going to have to face. And the things right now that you have to face is your being afraid. Because we have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So you're emotionally afraid to speak what is within your mind. That is a value. You just feel as though that those do not want to hear from you. Those that do not want to hear from you, that is the wrong people that you need to connect with. They apparently are not for you. You have the power to change this vicious cycle of these everlasting wounds that you are experiencing from a child and that's still present in your present day. I apologize. I know y'all heard that children of mine in the house and out of the house but um just take this walk with me can you imagine having a child that cannot talk that cannot express themselves that cannot speak cannot tell you what's going on within their day or when someone has done an injustice to them can you imagine can you imagine how it feels to a mother i have three stand in your power speak your words if you can utter true words speak them speak boldly as an ambassador say what you have to say no matter how difficult or how afraid you are. Burn it down. Drown them that daggone negative thoughts out. <laughs> stop struggling. You know, stop struggling with it. Someone's going to understand you sooner or later. Find your creative alternative to communicate. Let's see what the soul truth want to bring. I'm going to do it this way because they have uh, questions on the back. A little love on the heart. Okay. And then we're going to come into my crystal wisdom. And then we're going to conclude. 
My chair is a little, off, a little off kilter. She has a heartbeat of her own too. And for that eighth house energy, you have a strong healing power. Whether it's Reiki, but um, there's a deeper level of investigation that needs to take place within you. Soul Truth, Chirons, and Gemini. Yeah, you can get off this cycle. Too many cards. I'm going to put them back, but I'm going to read the question. Do I know all my strengths and, and am I using them? What if it was easy? What do I resist feeling right now? What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? Well, definitely someone can't speak your words. They can't articulate the words or articulate the music like you can. They can't orchestrate that book like you can orchestrate that book. Okay, so let's get let's get the work done. Let's get the work done. Someone is not able to formulate a, a herbal tincture the way that you have, especially for these eighth house and some others, of course, Pisces as well. Cannot do these things the way that you can. All right, we'll take it. We have two. First out, what are the dominant emotions that run your life? How do you fill your day? Stress or joy? Trust or anger? anxiety or peace what we have only today right now the journey no goal no destination will bring us the feeling we seek so no matter what you say or don't say <laughs> it's still just going to be but when you begin filling every day with that which we value most you value most you will attract more of it this is fulfilling today's soul action lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life and values and your expectations to match your desires what do you want to feel are you willing to let go of those old paradigms those old beliefs that you have to achieve something to feel it am i clear on what my soul really wants in the um Gnosis with of the five planets opened up with our souls cry out. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? Take out the shoulds and the limitations. Get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desire instead. If you knew it was possible, I mean impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Stand in that healing power of your words. Trust in your heart. Trust in the ancestors of your greatest good. Trust in all the ascendants. Trust in the most high, the supreme, the angels. Trust in it all. Find your place. Today's soul action Ask yourself, what is it that your soul really wants? What does your heart crave? Then take one step in that direction. Ashe. 
So all it takes is one step. And like I said earlier, there was a part here. Um, no goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. You know, where I was saying about um, apparently those people that you're communicating with are the wrong ones. You're in the wrong place. So seek out something different. Chiron and Gemini, Supreme Creative Source. Trust and know. That came out. It came with faith, but trust and know. Have faith in self. Chiron and Gemini. Appetite that deals with communication. You have Smoky Quartz, Ellis Dell, Ellis Dill, card number 28. Appetite also deals with acceptance. We're not going to read that, but, and it also deals with discerning the truth within self. I don't want that glare. Smoky Quartz, Transmutational Magic. <clears throat> A stone for cosmic, karmic healing. Smoky Quartz opens into different dimensions and brings powerful transmutation. Self-understanding. You have a powerful survival instinct and ability to go where others dare not. Transmute the past. Realize that darkness is not evil. Facing your deepest fears turns these into golden opportunities and gifts. You know that death is only a transformation into another state of being. Take responsibility for your life. Don't let others take control. Don't let them control your heart. Don't let them control your mind. Don't let them control your words and who you are to heal. Divination. Be patient. Must, much stirs beneath a calm surface. Total transformation is close. It may entail a trip into the underworld. Your shadow becomes your brightest gift. Your pains, your wounds become your greatest gift. Because you will be able to give it to the world. Because now you have healed it. And this is what also makes you a great teacher as well. Let's proceed. Toxic emo emotions turn to positive regard. Ground your efforts in the everyday, but retain contact with higher realms. Success comes through dedication and trust in your abilities. Mentors are available. Release yourself from old enchantments. Healing insight. No part of you is evil or bad. Embracing your shadow leads you to healing hidden in the darkest reach, dark, darkest reaches of yourself. My Chirons and Geminis, this is your concluding message from Mama Solily, also known as Grandma Spider. I do desire that there were some triggers here, but you can do this. I am a Chiron in Aries, and I'm on a public platform, and I am still in the process of healing, but I am here. Ashe.